What's up, Burke fam? I'm Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my best comic book pickups of 2020. Let's go. Today's video is brought to you by comic book underscore pressing on Instagram. Protect your comic book investment for as little as $10 by using Eric from comic book underscore pressing. He presses all ages and tiers of books and make sure you use my promo code Burke 54 for free shipping back to you. Again, today's video is brought to you by comic book underscore pressing on Instagram. All right, guys, before we get into today's video, I do want to remind you that I'm doing my 2000 subscriber giveaway. I'm giving away a Team and T last Ronin number one and a Batman 24 and a CGC 9.8. A link to my giveaway video is in the description. All right, guys, 2020 was tough for a lot of people, but my YouTube channel definitely grew and I got some really awesome books. I went from around uh, 460 subscribers to uh, 1,800 just as of this video. So I'm very thankful of my growth in this channel, but I also picked up some really cool books and I kind of put it into a top 10 books category of books I picked up and several other kind of events that happen, you'll understand as I get through them. Let's go to kick things off with number 10 on my top 10 list of pickups for 2020. Number 10 is one of those events I'm talking about. These are books that I've been putting off getting graded. I had a ton of books that I put off uh, getting graded until this year. I wanna go ahead and throw up some photos of these. I finally submitted my Batman uh, 189. It came back a 4.0. I finally, that is the uh, first Silver Rage appearance of the, uh, the Scarecrow, for those that don't know. I also submitted my Flash number 139, first reverse Flash. That came back a 2.0. I, I thought that's what it was going to be, honestly. I also submitted my Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 0, the 1 of 100 White Ranger. I really thought that was going to be like a 9.4, maybe a 9.6, but it came back a 9.8. I was super stoked on that. Now I also uh, resubmitted, actually I sent my books, all of these that I'm talking about right now were pressed by my presser, comic book underscore pressing on Instagram. You may have seen his ad before today's video. I had a, a ultimate follow-up for uh, first appearance of Miles Morales in a CGC 9.4. I sent it over to my presser, Eric, who comic book underscore pressing. He cracked it, he pressed it. I resubmitted it to CGC and it went from a 9.4 to a 9.6. I was super stoked on that, that happened this year. And I also had uh, my Batman 404, the first book in Batman Year One, which is my all-time favorite Batman storyline. I submitted, submitted that to him to be pressed, and then the CGC, and that came back a 9.8. So on number 10 on my list, I just had a whole bunch of books that have been meaning to send to CGC that I finally did this year, and I'm super happy with the results. All right, guys, coming in at number nine on my list, we have Venom number seven, the first cameo appearance of Dylan Brock. I got this bad boy for like $25 for my LCS uh, Lunatics Comics, which you've seen a ton of their video, ton of videos on that shop on my channel. It is the best shop in Kansas, in my opinion. I got it pressed by my boy Eric again. Um, I submitted it to CGC and it came back in 9.8. This is definitely a book to spec on because if you read King of Black, Number two, if you're reading anything in Venom, you know that Dylan is super, super powerful. So that is my number nine, Venom number seven. Now it's gonna take us right into number eight. We have Venom number nine, the first full appearance of Dylan Brock. Uh, first print cover A in a 9.8. Awesome, also submitted it to the press. Also came back in 9.8. So coming in at number seven and nine, we have Venom 7, sorry, coming at number 9 and number 8. Sorry, we have Venom 7 and 9, the first cameo and first full appearances of Dylan Brock. All right, guys, sticking with the Venom theme here, we have Venom number 3, third print in a 9.8. This is my book number 7 on my top 10 list of pickups for 2020. This is the first uh, full appearance of Null and first cover appearance as well. Again, I submitted it to my presser. Sent it to CGC, came back in 9.8. So that is my book number seven on my top 10 list. All right, guys, coming in at number six on my list is another event that happened. We had Clayton Crane come to my LCS. I'll try to throw up some photos 
right now. It was an awesome experience to get to meet him and hang out with my friends Carlito Classico, Adrian Pandawson 316, and my boy Mike V. We all had some books signed. I had some books graded. Now on this list, I'm not gonna show off any AOKs, except for two books that I did get from my friend Carlito Classico. He, he hooked me up with some books to be signed by um, Clayton Crane. I'm gonna throw up right now the book that is uh, Draken New Dawn number one, the Virgin Variant by Clayton Crane. I had signed in the Cranebow and it came back in 9.8. That was signed at the event. I have a ton of other books I'm gonna to try to throw up here. Like I got the Death of Alfred um, signed by Clayton Crane. I had the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 40 signed by Clayton Crane. I had the Team and T number 100 signed by Clayton Crane. That was another um, AOK -okay from my friend Carlito Classico. That is an awesome book. I had a great time at the events. So coming in here again at number six, we had the Clayton Crane signing event at my LCS. All right guys, coming in at number five on my list, this book was on my top five list of books that I wanted to get for 2020. I did get it. We got an ASM 252 newsstand in a 9.4. I found this at uh, one of the shops in Topeka. Um, I honestly forgot the name of it. <laughs> Crusaders Comics and Games, I believe. Yeah, um, I wasn't even looking for like to buy any books. I was just looking uh, at some comics one day, just going around a couple different shops before uh, I had to work that night. And I found this for a great price. And it's a legit 9.4. Like I don't think a pressing would help it at all. It's already beautiful. So coming in here at number four, or sorry, number five, we have ASM 252, the first appearance of the black suit. All right, guys, coming in at number four on my top 10 list, we got Team and T number 51 and a CGC 9.8. I got this bad boy from my friend Dave over at Mark Spectre Comics. He got this from a flea market for an insane price. I bought it from him, got it pressed by my uh, presser, comic book underscore pressing, submitted to the CGC, came back to 9.8. For those that don't know, this is the first appearance of Jenica, who becomes the female turtle in issue 95. Love this book, definitely wanted to pick it up for 2020, so that's why it's my number four on my top 10 list. All right guys, coming in at number three on my list is the last event of 2020 that I wanted to talk about for pickups. I started working with Simple Man's Comics and the 616 Comics to announce some really, really awesome Power Ranger covers and TMNT covers, and I'm so thankful for that opportunity to be working with them and to announce these covers, and there are some awesome books I grabbed a couple right here that I wanted to show off that I announced on my channel. And you know what? Even though you're gonna see them on this video, I'll tell you what, seeing them in person is even better. This, this video doesn't do it justice, but it's still awesome. We got Draken New Dawn number one, the Virgin Variant by Steve Morris. Try to go through these pretty quickly. Draken New Dawn number two, Virgin Variant by Hal Laren. Beautiful. Draken New Dawn number three, Virgin Variant by Steve Morris first appearance of the Shattered. All of those came with COAs. We got Team and T number 111. This is the Virgin Variant. There was also a trade dress as well. Um, how, sorry, Mighty Morphin number one, the Virgin Variant. All of these you can find over at the 616comics.com if you missed out. They're all on there. This is the Virgin Variant for Mighty Morphin number one. We got the Virgin Variant right here for Power Rangers number one. Uh, these la these uh, last two covers are by Young Yoon. The Team and Team number 111 was by Hal Laren. And then we also have a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 55, first appearance of the new Green Ranger. This is the um, cover by Young Yoon. So I'm really thankful to be working with the 616comics.com. And we got some really cool things planned for 2021. Not ready to announce it yet, but I'm super, super excited about it. All right, guys, so number two on my top 10 list, we have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Team and Team number one, the second print, one of 10 ratio variant. I got this from my LCS again, Lunatics Comics. Um, I don't believe I got this press. This, no, I did not. I submitted the CGC, came back in 9.8. If anyone doesn't know anything about this story, uh, Lord, uh, Shredder becomes the new Green Ranger in issue two. So that's kind of why this book has been spiking. Also, it's just a beautiful cover by Ghani Montez. So coming in at number two, again, we got 
Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number one, the second print, one of 10 ratio variants. All right, guys, we're at number one on my top 10 list of pickups for 2020. And this book, honestly, it wasn't on my top five list of books to get because I never thought I'd own it. I was just in the right place at the right time. And I got it for a really, really great price. And I submitted to CGC. Also got a press by my presser again. And came back to 3.0. We got Amazing Spider-Man number 129. The first appearance of The Punisher. I really like The Punisher character. I love The Punisher TV series. This is an amazing key. An amazing Spider-Man key. I'm super excited to own this. So that's why it's number one on my list. Again, we got ASM 129 the first appearance of The Punisher. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Again, my name is Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics. Let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of my top pickups for 2020, which book was your favorite, and what books did you pick up this year? All of that and more. Again, thanks for watching, and as always, go Cats, Cowabunga, and it's Morphin' Time.